There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Don't move a muscle, the excitement is coming up next on EA TV. And a warm welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal, and they face Bournemouth. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, you don't really want to be picking up a caution so early in the game, Stuart. Well, he's going to be under pressure now. That was a reckless challenge. He didn't need to make it at all. Has eyes for goal! Well, in truth, it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. Well, I think it's good referee. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. Well, it's always a delight to watch Bukayo Saka in action. We have that privilege today. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. Can he make it count? Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Thomas Partey. Good ball over the top. Running with the ball confidently. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, it was a top-class save by the keeper. But if Arsenal continue to play with this sort of quality, I think it's only a matter of time before they do take the lead here. Well, attacks are plenty, but now defensive resilience is what's called for. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Havertz. Martin Erdegaard. Oh, he's through here! And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. This might be ideal for the counter. Soranke wilting under the pressure and now they try to go forward Kai Havertz nice with it deserves credit for winning the ball back Unal might really be able to trouble them here but nothing comes of it Farsi Soranke and ball back with Arsenal now
Rice played into the centre. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here's the replay. It all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Scott. Here's Kleibert. Unal. Did well to win the ball back. Martin Erdegaard. Lewis Cook. Scott with it now. A very timely interception. Martin Erdegaard. Good looking sequence. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. Played over. Can they keep it out? It hasn't come to very much. And they know they need to stop him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And the header from Havertz is brilliant. He just seems to have a great understanding where to be in the box. That's a top class header. So the ball rolling again. 2 0 the score. Kleibert. Oh, good looking run. And danger averted thanks to his teammates. Almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Thomas Partey, and promising stuff from Arsenal. Trossard, Havertz, oh dear, not a great effort, was it? So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Senesi. No advantage with them. Referee says play on. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. Well, a really dominant performance so far from Kai Havertz. Not that that comes as a huge surprise. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is.
into the second half after a dominant first half performance by Arsenal. Really good challenge. Teammates available. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Keeper getting the touch. That's very decisive goalkeeping. Now with Scott, Lewis Cook, and there's Unal with it. That is how to keep it out of the net. plays with a positional sense that is second to none. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Coming onto the pitch, number 29, Philip Billing. Oh, great vision. And a throw in for Arsenal. And Kai Havertz must be so near but wide. Well, there it is. Arsenal have created chance after chance, and I just can't see that changing. They've been excellent here. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Soranke intercepting it intelligently. Declan Rice. Now, can they hit them on the counter? All in all, a broken counter-attack. Oh, managing to beat him. Opportunity here. Well, he really tried to connect with it, but a long way off target. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. White. Rice with it. Well timed tackle. Now, who can he play it to? Able to skip past his man. What a block! Well, this can he put it in? Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Solanke. Oh, big chance. Not a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Superbly read and executed. No let up on the pressing front. Trossard. And Havertz. And then with a real chance. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper.
Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, it is going to be a yellow card, and I can't imagine he's too surprised. No, he was always going to get a book in there. He's been warned. Decent looking pass. Billing. didn't happen for them in attack can they hit on the break well Bournemouth couldn't keep it might be a chance here oh did so well to deny him and they're making a change Playing it short. Looking for someone to play it to. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. going for the short one preferring to go infield still looking for space and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save And played short. Gabriel Jesus! And danger still. And a time for cool heads. Unal. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. All in all, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Good-looking sequence. Decides to shoot. He's blocked it. Oh, fine stop. Rossard. On to Jorginho. Well, a good tackle. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Declan Rice. Oh, in with a chance! And still danger here. Well, threat over for now. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Watara. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal.
Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, a high-level contribution from Kai Havertz. Stuart, sum up for us what most impressed you about his performance. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.